despise this book. It's so strongly worded and boring. Who is it? It's Chloe. Who else would it be? You don't have any other friends. Heartful? Something weird happened. What happened? I got these roses and this note that says, I love you. Love your secret admirer. Whoa. Weird. You want some coffee? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, I know, right? Who do you think it's from? Hmm. I don't know. I know. I followed you here. I love you. Meet me in the apartment building balcony loft thing tomorrow night at 9.30. Love, your secret admirer. I have to meet him. At least, I hope it's a him. In the apartment building balcony loft thing tomorrow night at 9.30. Text me later. I have an assignment that I have to work on for writing for Aikens, so I better start working on that tomorrow. So, yeah, you kind of should leave now. Sorry. Text me later, though. I promise I'll answer. Okay. Bye. Later. Apartment ASAP. Okay, KK, be there in ten minutes. Hang in there. God. Stupid book. Come on, hurry up, Ellie. I've got to help Chloe. She's in trouble. Come on, book get on. Cooperate. Be my friend. I'm gonna need this tie out. Come on, please. Work with me. Work with me, buddies. Okay, um, I need sparkles. Sparkles always make me look good. They make me look pretty. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, I don't need this. I don't even have any money. Whatever. All right, um, got this one ready to go. No. I need to talk. I need some water. Oh, God, that feels nice. Oh, whatever. I don't like that color. It doesn't look good with my eyes. Good. Come on, buddy, come on. Mm, that always calms me down. <sighs> Let's do this, Chloe. Who is it? It's Ellie. Who else would it be? You don't have any friends. It's coming, Ellie. Where's the note? I can't wait for tonight, my love. As you can see, I'm passionate about love, baby kitten. So here are a few facts about me you should know for as one day, hopefully, we will start a family of our own. You know, a litter of five. One, I hate dogs. Two, I love to hunt rabid mammals. Whoa. Three, I love dried kibble. The rest, my smoking hot, spicy, lovely baby chicken wing. Perfect girl. You will have to find out for yourself. Love your secret admirer. Okay, that note is kind of creepy. Yeah, I know. Does I still go? <clears throat> yeah, you have to find out who he is. I'll come with you if you want. Yeah, you could come. Okay, it's 9 o'clock. Go get ready. Forty-five minutes later. So, um, uh, I take it you're Chloe. Yeah, and, uh, I take it you're my secret admirer? Sorry, I, I thought you were Chloe, the beautiful Siamese. Uh, um, that. I thought you were a tailor of what men look like. No, I'm not. Anyway, the moral of this story is, Clo Chloe, why don't you tell our viewers the moral of the story? moral of this story is not to communicate with people you don't know and to tell an adult immediately if you get strange messages from people you don't know. 
In this story, Chloe got a weird message from someone she didn't know and didn't tell an adult. She could end up in a lot of trouble. She was lucky it was just an orange tabby cat named Francisco.